Welcome back everybody. This is Pumpkin Days episode 100 and whoops, we'll get it there eventually. 159. We did a little bit of crafting yesterday. Everything looks a little bit nicer in the uh, the broad daylight, except maybe that. Yeah, I should have chosen a different door. Maybe using the same colored door as the trim. All right, I have mail. It is spring the 18th. Uh, let's head on down. I'm actually thinking it's it's possibly baby animal day, um, but it might be too early in the morning. They tend to, I think they tend to drop it about the same time as you um, as you breed them. But we'll uh, we'll find out. Rather than look in the barns, I'll have a look in my mail. Nope. Thirteen hundred and ten for one shipment. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred and ninety-two for the other. So thirteen hundred and ten would have been the eggs and the milk golden eggs in the milk and the other one would have been all the rest of the stuff that we shipped all the fossils and so on and so forth what we're going to do is we're going to look for um we're going to look for bugs there's one over there let's uh let's get it that looks like a globe mallow leaf i know here we go again we are looking for one one beetle one um, I'm going to grab some cake for this. I have a feeling that, um, well, I don't know. There's one that actually looks like a diving beetle. We might just scare that one. Oops, that was not what I was after. The net's on nine. Let me just move my net and my fishing rod around. Oops, resume. Yeah, there we go. All right, there's an ox beetle over there. Um, we are after the, I know the name will eventually come back to me. Boom. One ox beetle. There it is. Look at that. Hiding. So much better hunting beetles in the day. I wonder what that is. That actually looks like it might be a four spot sap beetle. I was hoping it was something a lot more exciting than that. Yep, four spot sap. So that's one of the beetles I always startle. This looks like a, a reddish potato beetle. We'll grab it anyway. Yep. <laughs> it's very hard to catch them when you can't see them. Alrighty, let's see what else we can see. Oh, there's one. That's one of the ones I always miss. And I missed it again because I tried to catch it with my fishing rod. Oops. Alright, what's that? Looks like another something. Well, the thing is, I don't know what this beetle looks like. It's one of the bigger ones from the description, but I could be wrong. So unless I'm 100% sure of something, I think I'm just going to have to go from all of, for all of them. Okay, that one's a dung beetle. We definitely didn't need that one, but I couldn't tell what it was. That looks like another dung beetle. We'll give it a go anyway. I'm going to try not to um, bug catch into the, into the dark though. Yep, that one's another bug, bug beetle. Dung beetle. There's one over there. What's that? That looks like it might be a diving beetle. No, it's got those feathery antenna. It's probably a, um, ah, uh, you know, those beetle things. Oops, I know. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. All right. There is one over here, usually. There it is. That looks a little bit like a fruit beetle, but we'll give it a shot anyway. So it looks like today what we'll do is we'll just get through to the end of the... Um, just wait for that to stop wagging around. Another dung beetle. Man. I should give those to... Um, to Eugene because he can put them in. Oh no, that's right. He doesn't do um 
He doesn't do organic. Fine, I'll put them in my compost heap. It's not like I don't have enough animals to have a good mullock heap, is it? Alrighty, now these ones can be a little difficult to see. Okay, they can be a lot difficult to see. There's one that looks like a reddish potato beetle. Let's see if we can catch it uh, in spite of the leaves. Two, three. Yeah, that was a reddish potato. Ah, oh, there's one over there. What's... My inventory's full. Oh, no. Well, fine. I'll just leave little bug boxes all over the beach. Oops. That was a dog bane. There, that's the word I was looking for. Dog bane leaf beetle. Because it scares doggies? I don't know. Dog's bane. Maybe that's the sort of plant that it's on... Um, if the dog eats it, it gets sick or something, and that's why it's the bane of all dogs. All right, that that didn't have one on. There is there is another one over here somewhere. I just can't remember where. And remembering where is actually really helpful, considering there are a lot of trees on the beach. I know now I'm now I'm doing the Polish mind detector where I'm it was that beach, that tree. Okay. Yeah, if I scare the beetle off the tree, I know which one it is. So it's it's definitely this little one here. And I've got to work out which side of the tree the beetle is on. Um that was probably something like a, a long horn, a long you know, the beetle with the long antenna. Let's grab some cake. Oh yeah. Okay, we do have a bunch of stuff to ship. Let's eat that. We'll go faster. I've got some crafting materials to put away and I see why my backpack's full. righty oh. So we might head home first because knowing my luck, it'll be fruit tree fruiting season and I'm going to need that space in my pack. Uh, why don't we do a quick zip by the jungle farm just to see. And if it is, I'll go home. But if it isn't, we might just, I don't know, do something. No, it's all good. See, nothing's, nothing's sparkling. I know. Zane might have done some harvesting. What do you think? See, that looks like it should be harvestable, but it's not. All right, so nothing's harvestable. I probably have some eggs I should pick up. Um... Zane's not done anything, any harvesting. Okay, cool. All right, I should be padding all my animals as well, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go and process all my gemstones, make some more hideous lamps, and think about what else I need to do. If we if we can make a, a master kitchen for Zane, that would be good. He kind of needs one. All right, let's stop mucking around. Let us polish whatever that is and whatever that is and we'll fry. Oh, we polish the meteorite. We don't fry it. Uh, we fry, however, that stuff. But not if we don't collect it. There we go. Things will work a lot better if we collect things. All right. And while we're doing that, I want to be able to put my polished stuff away and my processed stuff away. So let's grab all of that and put it away. Oops, no, you come back. You don't put timber in the gem box. What were you thinking? Shuggy like. That looks pretty. I wonder what that would be like crafted up. I reckon it would be gorgeous. All right, things that we don't have enough to process. So like the stuff there's only... But there's only a couple of bits. Let's just sort everything up. Okay, we're pretty good there. That's doing its thing. That's gone through. Let's put those on to go. 
That's that's got a ways to go. This one looks yeah, that one's done. Grab that out of there. I thought I saw yeah, there we go. 104 raw nickel. That's gonna come in handy. Where's my shed gone? All right, I know. I, I was really worried for a minute that I would have um, completely lost the contents. That that would have made me very sad. That's going to be a while. And so is that one. But these should be almost done. Yeah, there's our sugar light. Okay, they can go. This is our unpolished so so light. And that's got a little ways to go. See, this is why with one of my other characters I had about half a dozen of these because I could just keep rotating through until it was done. I have a lot of topaz. All right, well, while that does its thing, let's just leave that go through. Let's just have a look and see what other crafting we need to do. So we've done all the tables, shelves, storage, and decor. Chairs. To make a basic armchair, we need fabric. One piece. Um, the legs. Now we could probably make that out of gemstones if we wanted to, but I'm just going to grab my timber for the minute. And we shall... Oh, look at that. That is really cute, actually. Man, I, I like that one. Alrighty. Just check our gems. Oh, that was good timing. Throw our unpolished sardonics in. That's got a little ways to go. As has. Oh, that one's done. You know, I saw some gold in here too that needed processing. So let's just grab out some of these, these metals that are going to take some time to do. And uh, we'll get those to run through on our furnaces. So we'll Drop the raw, drop the raw aluminium in. Oh, and it stops at 50. Well, fine then. Uh, radio, let's see what this is taking. That's got a ways to go. That's done though. Let's, uh, let's grab that. Is that another thing? Wow. We, we can make a bunch of blue stuff. That would work. Okay. Chairs. Cushion chair. You know what? We can use... Polish spinel for the frame, and that's red. So we'll. Oh, why don't we use the blue holiday pattern again and see what happens when you mix red and blue together? That's kind of pretty. Okay. You know, it might have looked better with purple, but anyway. I know, we could just try it with a whole bunch of stuff. A toilet? I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like a couch. Let's make it out of something unadventurous like a nickel bar. There we go. So it's going to be a nickel toilet. You know, we could have made that out of rubies. That would have looked funny. Alrighty, one toilet. Uh, what have we got? Chairs, couches... Okay, a basic couch. I know I'm really tempted to actually make it out of rainbow cloth, but let's make it out of blue snow holiday pattern cloth. We will make the gems, the gems, the, the legs out of, I don't know, that's something I've got a lot of, none of that. All right, we'll make the legs out of, well, seeing as I can't do much else with the nickel, let's make it out of nickel. It's blue snow holiday pattern cloth. Let's give it plain colored cushions. Um, well, as well. Okay, it's got one. Let's give it purple. I don't know if purple's the best color for it though. Okay, fine. Fine, you can have purple. It won't let me turn it to see. I, I really like that blue pattern snow holiday cloth. Wow.
I mean, what does that look like? Crafted a snow holiday couch. Okay, probably won't let us put it down. Oh, the purple doesn't look too bad, does it? Let me just pivot that runner over this way. I like that. <laughs> I know, right? Then you have your basic armchair. Uh, you have your cushion chair. All right. I, I really want some more of that holiday cloth. You would use not. You wouldn't put it on the wallpaper though. But that um, that's pretty. We have made a toilet. Uh, we can't really place that in the picture. There we go. All right. Let's go make some more. I know. <laughs> What are we doing now? We're making stuff. Because it's fun. Alright, let's uh, make something out of this copper. Well, actually, let's turn this copper into stuff. We'll just get that out of there and we'll put the cobalt in. We will grab, we have, what else we got? We can make unpolished sapphires polished and rose quartz that's really rare though i'm going to try not to waste that one rose likes rose quartz elegant couch am i out of i am out of i need more wallpaper no i don't we're good let's make our sapphire legs our fabric all right we need to go find some more wallpaper this is why we've been buying the wallpaper uh, maybe not that. I need I need five or more. Oh, we're not wasting our universe tile. That has to go on top of all of our things. Happy bunny wallpaper. Red frilly crest. Let's grab that and we'll grab that. Floral wind oceans. There you go. There's a ton of that too. Alrighty. Now we can make stuff. Let me just check to see how things are going. This one is finished. Uh, unpolished Rudicrocyte Radio. Okay, now we're going to make. Ah, oh, sigh. Red Frilly Crest wallpaper and Happy Bunny wallpaper. Or Floral Winds Ocean. I'm actually thinking. Okay, I probably. Oh, I'm daft. What am I doing? It's fabric, legs, pillow. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well, I think we should use this fabric. No, it is going to insist we use cloth. Spoil sport. Hello, and we will give it sapphire legs because I have sapphires coming out of the wazoo. Oh my. We will call this a rainbow couch. Yes. All right, well, let's go with whatever's next. A sleek couch. Well, we will go with a black thing and a colored pillow. And I'm still going to stick with my sapphire legs. There we go. You know, I think that's probably going to look quite nice. sleek couch all right that's my sleek couch where is my other couch my rainbow couch which I'm pretty sure just going to couches all right elegant couch uh, legs well uh oh we're gonna need okay let's do it in sardonyx um, I know I can't turn my pillow hard no um okay no no we will go black cloth and colored pillow elegant actually that does look elegant with the brown it almost looks like it's made out of shiny timber all right we so have to see what that looks like let's just check how our gem polishing is going 
Bun polish quartz. That's kind of rare. We probably don't want to build too much with that. That's still running. How's this going? Oh, that looks dumb. Let us grab the gold. We'll pop that in. Do I have any more metal? No. Sort everything out. All right, let's grab this. That's got two to go. That's got a way to go. Let's pop 34 of whatever those are in. Okay. While that's doing its thing, let us grab... Done all our couches now. Yep, let's grab our beds. Oh boy, I am running out of cloth, aren't I? All right, the fitted sheet is going to be white. Comforter fold is going to be white. The comforter is going to be black, uh, rainbow. The bed frame. Rainbow bed frame. A uh, rainbow thing. The pillow is going to be rainbow. The bed frame can be rhodochrosite. Probably would look good in sapphire. Whoa. Okay. I'm thinking maybe sapphire. No, let's just do this one in our Larry, our, our Larry pink bed. All right, we've crafted a simple bed. I wonder if there's a complex bed. No, but there's a simple double bed. All right. The bed frame is 20. I know, I don't want to use my gems for that many. Hello. Fitted sheet will go black. Uh, comforter fold will go black. And the comforter will go coloured. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it looks okay. Nothing to write home about though. Probably would look better with white maybe. Or pink. We can make pink, right? Pink beds. Uh, Alright, what have we got? Open that up. Ah, now we've made cribs. We have to make them again. Medium kitchen. Hmm. You can make the kitchen out of a lot of things. These things like the nickel and the cobalt and the aluminium, which you can't use for anything else. You can use for this. You can also make a very pretty kitchen, but uh, this one's just a medium one, so we're going to go kitchen cupboards. Might as well go two with the nickel bar here. We'll grab cobalt. Uh, we'll make our counter out of iron because I can. <laughs> and we'll make cobalt out of the stove. There we go. So you can get it. It will reflect the materials you use. Um, so we'll craft that up. But these metals you can't really use on anything else, so we might as well. I want to make Zane a, like a deluxe kitchen, a master kitchen, but uh, let me just get this out of my system here. So we'll make aluminium for our things, we'll make our dishwasher out of, yeah, we'll make it out of cobalt again. Um, and then I guess I'm going to use a nickel, sorry, we'll use cobalt for our stove aluminium for our counter and iron for our sink all right i'll pull these out so we can have a look at them let's just see how our gem polishing is coming along looks like it's doing well grab our porphyry and we'll grab that and we'll pop the more porphyry so we can have porphyry on porphyry that's quite common anyway all right, I'm just going to put everything away for a minute. We'll sort everything up, and then I'm just going to throw everything kind of jemmy in the in the box. We can always go through and pull out what we actually want later. Sort that all up. Beautiful. It's still going. That's still going. That's finished. And I think I've run out of metal to process. Oh, awesome. We can have copper as well. That'll affect things. What do we got? Beds, kitchens, home decor, a stone lantern. I know. I want this one to be a really pretty stone lantern. I think I've put all my pretty stones away, though. I'm not making it out of gold. Let's make it out of copper. We'll have a copper lantern. Tiles. Tiles can be made out of 
almost anything. I don't even... Oh, look at that. We could have like a kid's floor. A bunny tile. There you go. Okay. What else have we got? Home. A small wall. We, we could make it a bunny wall. Maybe. We could. All right, what else can we make? I know. A large house wall we've already made by mistake. We made the stone lantern. A luxury house wall. Let's make that out of red frilly crest wallpaper. You know, you can make it out of gems. You can make it out of, I mean, if I wanted to, I could make it out of copper. There you go. I could have made it out of gold, but then I'd have to go get more gold. I don't feel like it. Alrighty, home. Small open curtains. I think I actually need to make these out of cloth. I don't think I can get away with... No, I can't get away with the paper. We can use the red frilly crest paper, however, to dye the cloth if we wanted to. This case, we're just going to use... We're going to use some white cloth for our curtain. Um, we could make a gold rod, or we could just make a copper rod. There we go craft this alrighty we can I know I'm running out of light <laughs> oh what else have we got home we can make a big wall what can we make a big wall out of we can make that out of I don't know let's make that out of our red fully crest wallpaper that could be interesting We'll see if we can find a space to stand it up so we can have a look at all our artwork later too. And I might take a photo of her with all of her crafting. Uh, large open curtains. Let's go with some white curtains and a copper rod. There we go. Alright, what else have we got? A short curtain. Well, I'm going to go with the copper rod again. And the white cloth. Wait. Okay. It does help if you put things in the right square. Otherwise, the game gets quite cross with you. And won't let you do it. It says, no. Game say no, man. Alrighty. Let's just check our gems. So, porphyry has gone through. We'll put in some unpolished peridot. And we'll put in some unpolished opal. And we'll make, I don't know, home decor, short curtain. Just did a short curtain. Yes, we have. It just hasn't lit up. Okay, so sometimes it won't tell you that you've done it. The plushies. I love these things. All right. Will, can I have a pink elephant, please? Oh, my. The porphyry. That's so cute. We're going to have to put that down somewhere. Alrighty. Let's go with a horse plushie. We will make it out of... I thought I had other colour gemstones. Okay, fine. We'll make it out of porphyry. We can make a whole set if you want. Oh, that one's cute too. Okay, what else we got? Another plushie? A cat plushie. Okay. I know. Actually, one of the most beautiful cats I've seen was um, it was like a, one of the black and red stones. He had like a fire kitty come out of it. Gee, it was nice. A pig plushie. Let's see what that looks like in pink. I, I like the way the porphyry is textured and just comes out like that. It looks gorgeous. Okay, what about a chicken plushie? A big pink chicken. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I don't know if I should be allowed anywhere near the crafting block ever again. A dog plushie. Let's check this one out. Oh, it looks cute. Let's see what they look like when we line them up, though. All right. We have now crafted everything. Collect the opals. 
we will make unpolished onyx become polished onyx we will make unpolished meteorite become polished you don't actually cook that one uh, just sort all of that up and close that down I know I want to take photos of everything sorry girl of everything that we've that we've made um, but I might have to wait until tomorrow so I might just pick these up if I can yeah there we go um, in, yes including the toilet and we will photograph we'll photograph those in the morning it's seven o'clock at night and I forgot it was an even day thanks ponies alrighty let's go cleaning up because man these guys have scattered poop thither and yon So now that we've crafted everything and had a bit of a look at how it all comes out, we, we might need to think about, yeah, that topaz is really powerful, isn't it? We might have to have a little think about what sort of decor we want. Yeah, Arnold, you, you're not cute. You're a menace. I was after poop. What is it? Is spring the 18th? Maybe it's the 19th that we have babies arriving. You guys are just not helpful, are you? No. Uh, I do need to make some crab meat. We might go grab our Dungeness crabs out and we might turn them into, into crab meat. Uh, I don't think they're that expensive. Just make sure our kitties are all, yeah. Alrighty, the other thing I might do is, is pat and stroke and brush everybody. Snow gets loves. Did you just... That's right, that was because you guys wouldn't let me pick it up. Adrian and Truffles, I do not want to know what you two are up to. There you go, ponies. You pat hog, Smokey. I know, they're all getting loves. Let's um, just remove the poop from the other food, bu food bar. There we go. Wind that back in. I might just let, I might just see as I've messed up my fencing. We'll just pop that over there. We'll un unstick our animals. If you're going to fence, you just got to make sure they can't access it. All right. Ring the bell and I'll send them all in. They're going in anyway, but um, they'll go in a lot quicker if I tell them to. Tiger, not patting the kitty with the shovel. Whoa, poor kitty. I know, see? Tiger appreciates not being patted with a shovel. There we go. Tully, Tully, where are you going? Don't go anywhere, dog. Wow, especially not if you're hogging that. All right, I can see myself having a little bit of collecting to do because my backpack is kind of full and I don't want to empty it just yet. All right, everyone's inside. Can I, um, I'm on a, no, oh, really? You're sleeping? Fine, be like that. Let us grab that poop off the floor. All right, very soon our babies will arrive. I just don't know when. Put our shovel away before we dig up something unfortunate. You know what? I think I might let this little farmer have an early night. We haven't been over to the other farm yet, though. I know. Let's let her have an early night. 
and tomorrow hopefully it won't be raining but tomorrow what we'll do is we're going to um pick up the put out the furniture and um all right fine we, we will do a photo shoot inside i know the weather god heard me and laughed All right, so what we'll do is we'll see if we can put some of these curtains and things up just to give people an idea of what we're doing. So there's our white curtains. Okay. All right, so we have we have curtains, right? Maybe I, oh, okay, because the lights are up there, that's why. All right. I'm going to see how many couches I can fit. So we have an elegant couch. Oh, that kind of looks good there, doesn't it? <laughs> we have a sleek couch. All right. We have a rainbow couch. We have a snow holiday couch, which I really like. sure that's going to give me exactly what I was after um what we might do is we might pick that one up and we'll pick that one up I'll grab this one and we're going to put it here if I can get it in no, okay this is in the way yeah you know what we might just line them up like this I'm going to leave that there though I think I think we should keep that one All right, so no toilets on the carpet, fair enough. A cushion chair, can I place that on this carpet? Yes. Actually, let's just grab that. Man, it's sweet enough that my, my it sets my teeth on edge. Let's put that there. We'll grab a basic armchair. I might just see if we can put that up here. All right, fine, we'll put that, just pick that up. It's a menace, we'll pick that up because it's not a menace. See if we can place this in here. See if we can place this here. See if we can place this here. Let's grab a simple bed. I know we're getting to the point though where I'm gonna have to just <laughs> oh man, Zora's furniture store. Unlock the camera. Turn the character around. Give it back. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to make a good screenshot, but that is that is a lot of furniture. All right, let's lock our camera back up again. And we'll just turn back around. I might just grab all of this up. Uh, no, close that. That is that is a, a lot of um, furniture, though. I wonder if I could put the... You know, we might see if we can put the plushies on this couch. What do you think? Let's see if we can get these plushies down. Ooh. 
What do you mean I cannot place this here? Of course. <laughs> this doesn't look quite so cute from the front though. Aloysius, you photobombing puppy, you. That's kind of cute. All right, let's grab our cat plushie. Where's my fox plushie? There is a fox plushie there, yeah. No, there's no fox plushie. That's okay. <laughs> All right. I might just we might just pose her again. We'll see if this will work any better. Unlock our camera. Pivot her around. No, won't do that. Get it to go back a little bit. All right. I don't know if that's actually worth doing. Maybe that. That'll do. All right. I've received something, let's try that screenshot without the notification. Received something in the mail at 1307. I wonder if that is my baby animal animal set. That is kind of cute. Um, you'll notice the, oops. All right, we'll just grab all these up. I know, otherwise Zane will be like, what, what are you doing, girl? Well, Zane, I might sell that as well. All right, let's go sell our furniture. Oh, I know. It's so dark out here. I was going to do a photo shot, a shoot on the porch. A photo shop on the porch. Oh, man. All right. Pop all of these away. Pop these away. Um, if you have a look at the tile, it, that's what it looks like on the ground. It's used for tiling your, um, your floors. All right. Large kitchen. If you were curious as to what that looked like. Um, with your different bits of metal, not this, so you can see the different colours. And it happens the same if you use if you use gem gemstones as well. Um, there's our our wall, and there's our copper wall. And what I'll do is I'll just pivot this. This is our, um, get her to move, our red flower wall. So if you wanted to have all your partitions one colour, you could do that if you used a wallpaper to craft them with. All right, let us just pick up. I have to go and get them. 
pick these up. They're not worth, the problem is, is they're not worth anything when you sell them, I don't think. Let us check. So, um, however much your value of your materials is, on oh, small walls, 25, 50. Oh, take it back. They are worth something. Oh my gosh. Oh good, that's changed. Let's grab all of these. Uh, let's also grab all of these out. Pop them away. So many beetles. All right, let's grab our pony. Our speedy pony. The speediest. There, there are two that are speedy. Truffles um, is the one not doing the the work of a mare. Oh, look, see, and there are our babies. So what we're going to do is we're going to go see what sort of babies we got. That way it'll take some of the guesswork out of trying to work out if I have baby winged pigs. In, in the mix. Let's see how we went. All right, a pink piglet, a pink piglet, a tan foal, a brown foal, a gray foal, a pink piglet, a tan foal, and a tan foal. No special beasties in that lot. All right, well, we're going to sell those straight out. I'm not going to unpack them. I'm just going to um not name we're just gonna not name them we're gonna let their new owners name them hi zane kane grilled tuna man you got lunch for me i got lunch for you too yeah help with storage something to donate to the museum some golden carp and a barbell steed there's your lunch you're welcome feldspar blocker and a golden carp all right we're going to sell our animals. We just go down to the bottom. Sigh. And it will also tell you what they are here. So if, you, if you're selling them, you can see. So we have a pink piglet. Yep. And we'll sell little grey foal. Little grey. We'll sell little pink. And we will sell little pink. And we will sell little tan. We will sell little tan. I know. I'm almost sad to see them go. We'll sell a little brown, buy a little brown, and we'll sell a little tan. There we go. And we're not selling Kojimi. Okay, well, that was disappointing. I was really hoping, really hoping that we would have um, some of our special animals bred today. So if that's the case, we're going to go and breed some more. Oh, great. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Oops, forgot I had that. Okay, how are you doing? My grandfather was afraid of dogs until he let my father keep one. And now the whole family ends up being committed to well-being of not just dogs, but all animals. He gave me a sculpture. That is so cool. Thank you, Govind. All right, Kojimu. Breeding with Buffalo Girl. That's okay. And Kojimu. Breeding with Blossom. And Kojimu. Breeding with Benjamina. Okay, and let's see. Truffles. Truffles can breed with Smokey. And where's he gone? Truffles can breed with Harmonica. And he can breed with on I think too we're, we've, uh, we're going to be waiting on um, yes we can't breed with our latest with nightshade nightshade's baby's due soon too in the next couple of days truffles with jammy there we go all right um Pretty sure our chickens haven't oops our chickens haven't arrived yet. I'm still using my middle mouse button, we'll get there eventually. Okay, well seeing as that's the case, why don't we go and do our deliveries? We've got a few of them and we've also got some more of these. See, cat sculpture artifact is worth 150G. Um I know someone gave me a, an extra wind or rain goddess uh once, and that was worth like five thousand G, which is a great way to start the game. So we've crafted all of the crafting things. Uh, what else we got to do? We'll cook all of the cooking things. Find ourselves a beetle. 
a specific beetle. I know, get there eventually. All right, collect that. They make nice cats as well, actually, that one. As our meteor makes pretty much nice everything. All right, well, the barns are ready for the next lot. Okay. We are chasing after... You, you know, maybe I should actually look up and see who we're chasing after. That might make life easier. All right. Queen, Dirt, Eugene, Nikki and Finn. Let's go find Finn. She should be. Okay. Oh, well, okay. This is actually a really good place to put everyone. Finn, I've got your package. You borrowed it from Manaka. Of course you did. Oh. I know, here we go. Let's um let's start chasing people. It, it shouldn't be hard to catch them, I mean Oh Monarchus at the library. It's after yes, it's after work for her. Hi Monarka, I've got your package. I was wondering when you'd be back. Please take this. You're welcome. Actually, let's get off the pony. I know, he's such a big horse, I'm just riding him in. What's wrong, child? Perhaps the greatest lesson of all is the importance of being grateful. Take some time each day to remind yourself. Don't run around in the rain too much. And it's always a pleasure, but she shouldn't keep me. There's my little pod rat. I shall give him his anaga, because he likes it. There you go. Oh, thank you. Polished sunstone, that is awesome. And he loves his um his his thing. It's always nice to see him. Alright, no one else is up here yet. Who else are we delivering to? I'll just grab my pony. Ride him out of the library. Actually, did I have something for Casey? Oh man. Nikki, let's go find Nikki. She's probably still doing yeah, she's still doing her delivery runs, so we might um zush on down the beach. Head on over. She's uh, she's way out here usually. Oh, I like the fact I can now see my house. So fairy lights, a brilliant purchase. Is she still on the bridge? Wow. Okay. Oh, it's it's six p.m. She shouldn't be. I know, we've just got to move a little bit away from the water, otherwise um, the pony will run into invisible walls. And he doesn't like that very much. Alright, no, uh, there she is. She does a good mail run and she takes takes it to heart, the meaning, the word run. You borrowed it from Zarita. Of course you did, Nikki. You did. Alright, Zarita is possibly over at the post office, but maybe down on the beach, talking to people. We're just going to cut across the headland rather than go through it. So we'll, uh, we'll go see Zarita, see how she's going. You've just got to wind your way through the trees. Wahoo Beach. At least you know you're back in town. Uh, oops, sorry. Ouch. Boom, this way. she is maybe she's at home oh I wonder what time she goes to sleep it's a bit early so really you should not be sleeping wow she lives all the way up here this is not a bad spot though is it do I know her well enough to enter yes oh man and she's asleep fine what's out here this is another fishing spot. It's not an ocean fishing spot, but my goodness, I didn't know it was here. Nice. All right, we have to go and try this fishing spot out. Let's see what else we have to deliver. Queen Eugene. Let's go find Eugene. He should be this time of day. He's probably lurking up in the library. Man, he had better not be being a bad influence on Zane.
Zane is just, oh no, there's Casey. Let's talk to Casey. Um, um, always love it when authors include small epilogues about their characters' lives after they fall in love. At least, I try to do that in my own writing. I mean, ah, uh, well, I guess the secret's out. At least it's only you who knows. Just, please don't tell anyone, okay? Sure, um, Casey. My favourite genre? Oh, well, don't laugh, but I really like romance stories. I think it's really sweet when two people fall in love. I wish something like that would happen to me. Um. Clara? Yeah, sure, I can do that. Not tonight, though, because she's already turned in. So she, she'll be um, asleep. Eugene. Thank you. You're finally back. I calculated you should have been done much sooner. Still one ought to be reward for a job completed here. Uh, there's Zane. Try and talk to Duante, probably. Fine, I can put up with that. Uh, Queen, Queen may be in her house on a rainy day. Sorry, Charlie, I'm not ignoring you. How are you? Radical. You want to see me, Commissioner? It's nice to have more friends to count on. I'm talking about you, of course. Radical. Uh, Mike gets annoyed that I talk about you sometimes. I think he's jealous. I can have two partners, right? Radical. Over and out. Hey there. Hey there. Wow, most people would have stopped talking to me after the third bit of animal trivia. I'm glad someone else finds this stuff important. Hey there. Hey there. I sure talk about my family a lot, huh? Well, I guess sometimes I can get homesick. But everyone needs to leave the nest someday, hey right? If you'll excuse me. Uh, yeah, I will excuse you. You have a full day. Actually, you've had a full day. Now it's probably time for you to sleep. Okay, what have we got? Truffles. We're going to go find Queen, who I think it's raining, so she's probably in her hut, but maybe she's got something else she wants to do. Ah. Graveyard? In the rain? Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, Truffles. We're not really going home, and yes, I am teasing you. No, she, she is home. There's Lisa. Maybe she's asleep. We'll just check it out. I don't think I know her well enough. I do know her well enough, and all right, let's leave her be before she, you know, wakes up and puts a hex on me out of fright or something. All right, Dirt is the next person we should see. He, um, if he just kind of goes straight out the back of Queen's place, uh, you should. Ow, no, maybe. Okay, you get lost just like I do, <laughs> and then you'll find the road and realize you've gone the wrong way. Uh, all right. Oh boy, I am. Okay, all right, there's the river. We definitely have come too far. Let's go back. Right now, I'm trying to find the garbage dump in the rain. The rain is dampening the smell. There it is. He does not like the rain, so he's going to be grumpy. Sorry, Dirt. I can't fix it for you, mate. Found something in the dirt we did. Here, take it away from here. The plot is returned. Ah, uh, leave us. Okay, we'll leave him be. He's um, he's probably having his his not so regular bath as well, which is, and it's cold. No one likes a cold shower, regardless of you know whether it's rain or not. Let's um maybe head over. Oops. Wow, truffles. That was a speedy sideways jump. In you go. There you go, boy. Let's um leave you here and we'll go and talk to you. All right, we'll go and clean up that poop for a start. Pick that, wind it back. Uh, very carefully aim. Oops. Aim, otherwise we're going to dig up something we really don't want to dig up. Excellent. Pocket that because it's making me nervous. Always does. Duck in and see our cows. I think they're all, yeah, they're all sleeping. We'll leave them be. All right, I wonder if they've decorated the farm again. Probably. This means, too, our chickens are all sleeping. That's fine. We'll just uh, put this away. Uh, I know, I'm trying very hard not to dig up my tree. I must have been a little bit away. 
Uh, yeah, if you're amongst your trees, make sure you've got your shovel, your shovel wound right back. Otherwise, you're going to accidentally clear something you want to don't want to. Uh, let's go. That's a good sound to hear that pock because it means you've hit the poop and not the tree. Just silhouetted against the windmill. All right, Peter pocket my shovel. Because like I said, it is making me pretty nervous. Oh man, is there? There's another one over here. Who put that there? Wind it back. There we go. I would be upset if if I'd cleared one of my ginger dragons by mistake. Let's check our box. It's going to make me go right up to everything now, isn't it? Nothing in the helper storage. I wonder what little Zane has been up to. Probably had his nose in a book. Well, he would have if he was anything like me. Midnight already. We've had a very busy day. So, I guess we're going to whistle up our pony because I don't feel like walking home. That's not going to save you, Trough. Alrighty. And I'm going to take my little character home. We'll pocket our shovel so it doesn't look like we're riding around with an orange helmet on our head. And, um... I think... When we've finished running into trees... I'll let this pony go and do his thing and I'm going to take this little character and let her get some sleep. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.